Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm a teacher author and the owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about how to teach word problems, which is part four of the five part series on how to achieve math mastery in your classroom to help your students achieve success in math. Where do you start? The goal of math mastery is to teach your students a deeper understanding of math so that they have acquired the fundamental concepts by the end of the school year. What math skills do you want your students to master? Math mastery is a way of teaching math skills to your students in a meaningful way. Teaching math mastery doesn't have to be stressful or overwhelming. Let's look at teaching word problem skills for math mastery in your classroom. Math mastery is a teaching approach with five parts. Step one is vocabulary. Step two of math mastery is hands-on activities. Step three is notes and scaffolded learning. Today we're going to look at part four of math mastery, which is word problems. The applications of math mastery, where students apply what they're learning. This can be done with word problems, real world problems, applications, math projects. Students are applying their knowledge of the math concepts in solving the problem on their own. It's the last step before demonstrating math mastery. Students apply math skills by solving word problems independently. Application is an individual process. It's the step before math mastery. So students should be independently solving word problems and applying their own five-step process. Who's solving the problem? Who's doing the work? Who's writing the response? It should all be done by the student. The student is doing all of these by themselves. It all comes down to this. Do you teach your students how to apply math? Do you use applications of math concepts? Do you use written math journal responses? Or do you use and teach how to solve word problems? Teaching through applications of math skills encourages students that math is all around us. It's not just in the textbook, but rather you can find it everywhere. You can use application problems such as reading math articles about how to use certain math skills in real life, or ask your students how they've used a math skill in their own life. Finally, you could do a math project that focuses on just one skill. Math projects are a perfect solution for engaging students in the applications of math skills. Writing responses is one part of the math mastery approach that needs to be taught. Teach your students how to write well-written math responses to word problems. Start a math journal or practice writing well-written responses to word problems. Writing is something that needs to be practiced and scaffolded but students should be applying it by now in the applications process. So students will be doing the writing on their own. It builds a deeper understanding of math concepts, which helps your students develop math mastery of concepts. Problem solving is an applications task. Word problems are not necessarily easy to solve, but by teaching word problems and how to solve them, students can learn to apply their math skills to any problem. There is a five-step problem-solving process that students should learn to help them independently solve word problems. Do not solve word problems for your students. Rather, ask and pose questions that make them think more about the problem-solving process. It's more powerful and meaningful when the student is solving the problem. Learning comes when the student is doing the work. Here are the ask three questioning strategies. These are three questions you should ask your students when they're problem solving. One, does my answer make sense? Two, did I answer the question? Three, does it have the correct units? The ask three method is from the problem solving masterclass, a workshop that is available in the Teaching Math and More shop and the description of this video. When teaching students how to apply math concepts for the first time, you may have some questions about how it will run more smoothly. Here are some tips that have helped. Number one, have a problem solving mat. Students love and need structure. So using a problem solving mat to teach the problem solving five step process to your student is necessary. Included in your math mastery notes for this video on page 19 is the problem solving mat. If you would like to grab a copy, there's a link of this resource in the description of the video. Number two, review the five steps. Solving word problems can be easier when your students know what to do. So review the five steps of understanding the problem, making a plan, implementing the plan, writing a response, and looking back. 
When students know how to solve word problems, it's easier for them to apply the math concepts they've learned. In the description of this video is a link to the Problem Solving Masterclass Workshop for teaching how to solve word problems to your students. Number three, practice, practice, practice. The best advice for anyone to solve word problems is to practice. Help your students develop this application of math skills by solving word problems daily. Included in your math mastery notes for this video on page 18 are 40 word problems for your students to solve and there is an answer key too. If you would like to grab a copy, there is a link in the resources of this video's description. There is a solution to the problem of how to teach applying math concepts. Try teaching with the right resources. Choose which is best for your class, using math projects, writing responses that are well-written, or using word problem applications. You can plan for a deeper level of understanding of mathematics for your students now. Applying math skills doesn't have to be difficult when you have the right resources. Here are the top three resources for teaching how to make applications with word problems. Number one, math projects in which students have to apply math skills to solve the math projects. Number two, math journals in which students write about how to solve a problem and apply a math concept. And number three, Problem Solving Masterclass is a workshop that teaches you how to help your students learn the problem solving method and apply it to any word problem. Links to all these resources are in the description of this video. For more information about the Math Mastery video series, be sure to check out the description where you can grab the notes and resources mentioned in this video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, Teaching Math and More, and we will see you next time for part five, the finale of the Math Mastery series.